Hello, mga grade 2 pupils! Okay, once again, this is Teacher Lel, ang inyong grade 2 advisor, Second Edition Elementary School. Hi! Before we go on to our topic, mag-pray as na. Andam na ba mo mag-pray? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful day. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for all the blessings you have given us. And we hope, Lord, that you will guide us and protect us away from harm. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello once again. I hope okay lang mo. Okay, kay si Teacher Nell, very excited kayo sa ating lesson for English. But before that, mag-sing asata, okay? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how do you do? I'm glad to be with you. And you, and you, and you. tra la 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 this day, maglasan to sa English 2, quarter 2, mucho eight. And the topic is all about identifying basic sequence of events and making predictions, relevant predictions about stories. But before that, mag-drill as a ta! Ready na ba mo? We always say that prevention is better than cure. To spare us away from diseases, we need to wash and clean our hands regularly, whether we are in school, at home, or at work. Hand washing is the best way to remove germs, preventing oneself from being sick and helping to stop the spread of virus. Diba? Kay pandemic karong, karon na COVID virus. So, if we are going to wash our hands regularly, must stop ang pag-spread sa virus. Okay? Now, I want you to help me in arranging no, the steps of hand washing. Are you ready? Okay. Na ay picture to Rizzi teacher now nga ipakita. Okay, Clara siya. Okay. Asa ah, diha ang number 1, number 2, number 3 and the last steps of washing our hands. Bidaw. We look at the picture. Okay. So, ang first ana is this one. We are going to wash our hands with clean water. Then after this one, we are going to wash our hands with soap, no? And then after this one, so pagbutang na to sa soap, we are going to rub our hands, no? At yun ng luguron o maayo. And then, after that one, we're going to clean it with clean water again. And then, after, mag-wipe na ta sa clean nga towel. With the use of clean towel. Very good! By the way, what do you think will happen if we are going to clean and wash our hands regularly? Okay, very good. No? If we are going to wash and clean our hands regularly, of course, no? Ma prevent ang oneself from being sick. And then, malayo ta sa mga virus, no? Dili ta makaspread sa mga virus. And then, healthy ta always kay clean man ang ating hands. Okay? Okay. So, our lesson for this day 
is about identifying the basic sequence of events and making relevant predictions about stories. Okay, unsa man siya? Okay, when we say sequence, sequence is the order in which events happen. It is putting things in order from first to last because in every situation and story, it has beginning and ending. You can also predict relevant situations based on events in the story. Now, we have here pictures. Okay, I want you to predict which comes first and which comes second. Can you help me? Okay, for the first picture. Okay, letter A, picture letter A, and picture letter B. What do you think comes first? Very good, picture letter B. And comes next is picture letter A. So, ang first is the baby boy. And then, the second one is the younger boy. No? The ko na ang boy. Okay. The next picture. Sharon. Which comes first? You're right! Picture A. Okay, picture A anay ang comes first because no una mahimog tree ang asa ka plant no seed asa siya. Okay, then after sa seed mudakot siya, then picture letter B mahimo siyang tree eventually. Okay, for the third picture. Charon, what comes first? Is it the girl that bath or the girl with the beautiful dress? Very good. The girl is taking her bath. This is the first one, right? Letter B and then the second one. So after you take a bath, so girl, you are going to dress up. Okay. Very good. Okay, next picture. Charon. Which comes first? Waking up or sleeping? Okay, very good. So, ang first is you're going to sleep and then afterwards you're going to wake up. Very good. For our first activity, I want you to tell a story about Ben, the poultry man. Are you ready to listen? About the story of Ben? Very good. Okay. Ben, the poultry man, loves his chicken. Okay. Every morning, he can't wait to get up early to feed his chicken. Okay. So, what did Ben did early in the morning? 7 o'clock. He wakes up, goes to the poultry house to feed his chicken. But before that, he carry a sack of chicken feed to the chicken. And then after he feeds the chicken, he's getting ready for school. So, he takes a bath. No? He eats her break. He eats his breakfast, and then dressed up with his uniform, and then go to school. And then he asks his father to drive him in going to school with their carabao. So Ben is at the back of the cart with his father. You know, every day his father goes with Ben in going to school. Okay, that's all about the story of Ben. Okay, what do you think is the story all about? Very 
good. It's all about Ben and his chicken. All about poultry man. Okay. What time did Ben get up early? You're right. At 7 in the morning. Okay. Where do Ben go after feeding the chickens? Very good! Ben goes to school after feeding his chicken. What did he do with the sack of chicken feet? Okay, he get the chicken feed to feed his chicken. Okay, what do you think? What kind? Rather, of a boy is Ben. Very good. Ben is a very good son. He's also a pet lover. And he's very kind to animals. Very good. Okay, what do you think will happen to Ben in the future? Very good. Ben will be successful because he is a very diligent boy. No, he's a very kind boy and a very obedient boy. That's that's it. Okay, for now, I want you to look at the picture. This is all about Ben's story. Okay, this is all about Ben's story. What do you think comes first? What do you think comes first in the story? Okay. Very good. This one, no? This one. Okay. Naget and I see Ben's chicken feeds. Then after. Very good. This one. Ben feeds the chickens. And then after this one, this one, this one, Ben is going to school. And then, very good, this one is the last. His father goes with Ben in going to school. Very good. For our activity two, we are going to arrange the cycle, the life cycle of a butterfly. Do you know the life cycle of a butterfly? Okay, here are some pictures of the life cycle of a butterfly. What do you think comes first? before it turns into a beautiful butterfly. Whoa. Okay, this one is the egg. This one is a butterfly. This one is the pupa, the pre-pupa. This one is the pre-pupa. And then this one is the caterpillar, the cute caterpillar. Okay, let's find out. The cycle of a butterfly. Okay. So I have here a picture of a branch of a tree. Then let's all paste no, the picture of a life cycle of a butterfly. What comes first before it turns into a beautiful butterfly? What comes first? Okay. First. We have an egg. Okay, we have an egg of a butterfly. Then after, we have a cute caterpillar. Oh, it's so cute. Then the third one, what's the third one do you think? The Pre-cocoon. We have the pre-cocoon. Oh, it's so cute. Then after the pre 
your cocoon? Or the pre-pupa, rather, the pre-pupa, not the pre-cocoon, huh? The pre-pupa, okay. After that one, we have the pupa. Oh, living in the cocoon. No, ni gawas na ang small nga butterfly. Nga rin, naka-hipos pa siya sa iyong cocoon, ang pre-pupa. Then, nga rin, ang pupa na dyan, ni gawas na siya sa iyong cocoon. Then, after that one, makakita na ta, we can see the beautiful butterfly. Yay! That's the cycle of a butterfly. No? Kanois, there's a cycle of butterfly. No? We have the egg, the caterpillar, the, the caterpillar there at top. Then we have the pre-pupa. No? And then the pupa. Leaving his cocoon in siya. Okay, mugawas na siya and turns into a beautiful butterfly. Oh, that's very, very nice. Very good. Okay. Before we move on to our assessment, mag-review as at the what is sequencing of events. Basic sequence of events. It is um, arranging um, events in order. Okay, mo na siya. So, atong i-arrange ang mga events. Mo na yung gitawag na sequence. I-arrange ang mga events into its proper order. And we can make, as what I've said a while ago, we can make relevant predictions, no? Based on the events in the story. Like what we did a while ago about Ben. Right? Okay. But before that, no? Uh, why is it it's very important to clean our surroundings and we are going to plant trees around us? Why is it very that is it's very important like we are in in our in our home or in school most especially why is it our teacher required us to clean the room to to plant trees? It's because no our surroundings is our life and if we are going to uh, clean our surroundings no we can um we can stay away or we can um spare us from any kind of diseases diba? and then we can uh we can prevent oneself from being sick if we are clean and then we need to plant trees it's because um the trees are our life it can help us in um, having fresh air, the shades, we can get fruits from trees, we can get um, um, uh, lumber from trees in making houses and making tables and chairs. So that's why it's very important to plant trees and clean our surroundings. Okay, we move on to our assessment are you ready for our assessment okay now jake number one jake is a good man one day he saw a beggar on the street what do you think jake will do to the beggar What do you think Jake will do to the beggar? He will ignore the beggar? He will not give coins to the beggar? He will not give um, alms to the beggar? Or he will give something to the beggar? What do you think? So, see Jake is a good boy. So... Uh, we can predict 
that Jake will give money to the beggar. Very good. Okay. Predictions ni ha? Okay. For number two. Leia is a kind girl. One Saturday, he she saw her mother washing the dishes. What do you think Leia would, will do to his mother? Will Leia approach her mother and help wash the dishes? Or will Leia go out to the house and play with his with her friends? Or will Leia go to the mall? Or will Leia just ignore her mother washing the dishes? What do you think will happen next? Hey, as a kind girl, Leia will what will what will Leia do to his to her mother watching washes the dishes washing the dishes okay as a kind girl Leia will very good help her mother in washing the dishes so dapat ha makakita gali mo na inyong mama magwash og dishes dapat dapat jud tabangan si mama sa balay okay for number 3 Mrs. Santos is a grade 2 teacher handling grade 2 pupils her pupils well a word well disciplined okay so when ma uh, when their teacher went out of the classroom what do you think will the pupils do inside the classroom hmm as a disciplined pupil Will they be noisy? Will they be roaming around and playing and jumping and talking and shouting? Or will they be sitting down and answering the activities that her that their teacher gave them? What do you think will happen? Hmm. Sharon, very good. The pupils were sitting down and having their activities. Very good. So, dapat ha, pag um, okay na gani ang, ang, ang atong um, world, dapat Balik na mo si classroom, mag-behave should like this pupils, no? They are well-disciplined, so behave kayo sila inside the classroom. Students should um, behave inside the classroom, whether the teacher is in the classroom or outside the classroom. Okay? Very good. Okay, for our last assessment, before... Tamag end sa acting lesson. Okay. This one. How to make a calamansi juice? Hmm. Okay. Here are the situations, ha? Huh? Number, uh, the first situation. We have pour water in the glass. Oh. Is it the first one? Okay, then clean and wash calamansi, then cut into halves. So you're going to wash the calamansi, then clean, and then you cut into halves. Then serve calamansi juice with 
strong. Okay, squeeze and strain the calamansi in a glass and remove the pulp and the seeds. And then add sugar and stir carefully until sugar dissolves. So what do you think comes first? Hmm? Okay, very good. You are going to pour water in the glass. This is number one. And then, clean and wash calamansi, then cut into halves. Okay, number two. Then the third one, you're, you're going to squeeze and strain the calamansi in the glass and remove pulp and seed. So after ni mo pag wash sa calamansi, pag cut, imo na siyang squeeze nga to sa glass with water. No? I-strain anay ni mo ang calamansi. No, before before, before ni mo ibutang sa glass, kay para ma kuha, ma remove ang iyang pulp and the seeds. The, this one is number three. Okay, ano? This one. This one. Then number four is add sugar and stir carefully until sugar dissolves. So this one is number four. So you're going to add sugar. No, kay para dili aslom ang kalamansi, you add add sugar then you stir para ma dissolve ang sugar. Then number 5, the ra. Number 5, you serve kalamansi juice with straw. Okay. These are the steps on how to make kalamansi juice. Kabalo na mo? Okay, so kanang butangan og kanang water and glass and then i-clean ang kalamansi no i-clean ang kalamansi and then you cut into halves and then you squeeze and strain in the glass so that ang pulp ug ang seed mawala and then after you add sugar you stir it carefully until the sugar will dissolve and then after you serve it into your friends and into your mom and dad. No? Malipay jud na si life. We're going to make a kalaman citrus because it's very, very healthy. So, malipay jud ang imong friends and then malipay jud ang imong mom and dad. Labi na kung um, na asi like cough and colds because kalaman citrus is rich in vitamin C. So, maka-help yun siya para mawala ang cough and cold so that's it for today thank you very much for listening and to the, all the mothers out there so grade two thank you for um uh, continuing supporting your sons and daughter to watch this video for them to understand what the lesson is all about so i hope that gan mo nakuha no so it's very easy pala to um uh, to sequence no and events no so imo lang siya i in i order i arrange in order ang mga events then mag make ganita relevant predictions it should be um based on the events in the story dapat dili siya ma 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 malaki so that's why we call it relevant dapat relevant ang predictions story relevant and event uh, based on the events in the story okay that's all for today thank you for watching